Welcome to this Google Drive screencast where we'll look at getting started with Google Documents. Specifically in this lesson, we're going to explore the Document Toolbar. So here I am already in a Google Document that I've started, and we're going to go through this toolbar here with these different buttons and just kind of cover what some of these features are. So I'm going to put some text in to the document. Now notice, it says here, all changes saved in Drive. As you work and you have an internet connection, the changes to your document will automatically save. So I'm typing right now and it's saying saving. So that's just something that's good to know is that Google Documents is always saving as long as you have an active internet connection. If your, if your browser crashes or something happens uh, where your computer locks up, at most you might only lose the last word, few words, even the last sentence. Um, so that's just a good, good thing to know about how Google Documents work. Going across the toolbar here, you've got your undo and your redo. If I accidentally deleted this paragraph and I want to go back a step, that's what my undo button is for, and you can usually go back many steps. Redo, if you wanted to bring some of those changes back in that you made, would allow you to move forward. Here's the different fonts that are available. You start with maybe 10 or 15 fonts. Uh, if you go down to add fonts, Google is occasionally adding new fonts that you can add in, and once you add them, they're in any document you work in available in any document. Here's the font size if you needed to change the font size of any text. Here's your different text features like bold, italics, underline. Change the actual text color is this A with the line under it. So if I wanted to make this red. If I wanted to highlight or change the background color around some text, that's what this A with the box around it is. So that would uh, signal there that I've highlighted some text a certain color. This is how you link up some text. So if I wanted to have the word spreadsheets actually link to some help file about creating Google spreadsheets, I could hit the link button and then actually paste the link in here that would allow people to click that and have that take them to that website. Adding comments. This is great as a teacher. If you are reading a student's paper and you don't want to mess with the document, you can highlight some text that you want to comment about and then click the comment button and you get to add some comments over here on the side. And we'll show some more with commenting later. These are my align buttons if I want to have the text aligned to the left, centered, to the right, justified, which just means align left but it is allowed to breathe a little bit more. Uh, those are your different alignment choices. This is my spacing if I wanted to, and this is great to show to students, if I wanted to make my paragraph or my document double spaced, I would highlight the text and choose two, and that would make everything double spaced. It's good if you're going to do a double spaced document, have that be the first thing you set when you go into the document, and then that spacing will stay throughout the entire document. But you can always highlight your text, highlight the entire document and change it as well. If I want to turn on numbering and make this a numbered list or a bulleted list, uh, this is great to know. So when you turn that on, anytime you hit return, a new bullet will automatically show up. Or you could click the button. If it's pressed in like that, you could unclick it or click it off and it'll, it'll take the bullet out. So that is bulleting. This allows me to decrease the indent or increase the indent of the selected text. So I've selected this text and I'm hitting increase indent. It's like it's tabbing it over. Or if I hit decrease, it's like it's tabbing it back to the left. And this button, this is great to know. If you, especially if you bring in text from a website, sometimes text from a website has certain formatting. This this button, when you click it, takes all that formatting out. So if I was going to have this text be all one font, really big and red, and I didn't want that, I copied this into my document. I copied something in here, and I want to take all that formatting out. I can click this, and it'll take all that formatting out and set the text back to just normal. Uh, size 11 font. This button hides this whole upper area, this menu area, and if I, this is great if uh, you're going to show the document up on a projector screen and you want to give a little bit more more space around it, um, or just take up you know less of your computer screen with some of this stuff that's just taking up no space. You can hide the menu or bring it back by using this up and this down arrow. So that is the document toolbar. That's a little bit with how that works. Thanks for watching the screencast.